welcome to my channel so today we are going to see uh, an interview question asked uh, recently so how to get a current month start date and current month end date so in UI Path Studio I have created this project practical Q&A so uh, here we will discuss uh, different practical question and, uh, and their exp and explanations okay so now let's see how we can start with this uh, particular question so what are the expressions that we need to remember right so here uh, we have to create uh, two variables in order to get a current month start date and current month end date so i have already created a variable here current month start date it must be like date time variables uh, the variable type must be a date time for the both and let's uh, drag and drop the sn activities so i have already done so let's uh, to show you again so I'll just delete it and let's start again fresh so let's take an assign activity from the activities panel just drag and drop in the designer panel so just uh, let's start with the current month start date so this is a variable and the value should be like let me open in a advanced editor control plus so new date time so we are initializing the date time class here okay so date time we're gonna open close parenthesis now dot year okay so this now dot year property is bringing us the current day current year from the current system date time okay now dot month so this is bringing the current month from the current system date time comma just one so this is like a default value one this is nothing but a date so we uh, hope everyone already knows that every month starts with the date one okay so here this is the expression what that we need to provide in order to get the current uh, the current uh, start date of the month okay so just click on save and again it, uh, so just change the display name for assign so assign current month start date okay so this is the sign activity name and the next thing take um, track and drop assign activity again so this is for current month end date okay so now we need to get the end date of the current month so how we can so that we already created a current month end date variable which is of a date time so here so we have to use this the previous uh, variable so what we have already created right current month start date so this is already holding the value of current month start date that is nothing but uh, like 0 a 0 1 2023 right so we are going to use that current month start date and to bring or to show that to get the output of current month end date so how we are going to do just go to advanced editor so here i am writing current month start date dot add months so i'm just adding the month of one dot add days of minus one so what happens here so add months means i'm adding a one month adding a month of september so currently it is august and the add months of one is nothing but it is adding a september so in the september i'm just giving the add days of minus one so what it will do it will give a previous month last day okay this is the main key here key point main key point here is add days of minus one okay so just click on save and in order to show the output you can use uh, there are different activities like message box or log message or write line 
So currently we are going to take a message box. Just type box in activities. So just drag and drop the box. And here you need to give the variable current month end date. So that is what I want to show you, right? Current month end date dot to string. If you want to see it in a different formats, like if you want to see DD, you can change here, right? So in because we are converting the date type to a string type and also in the to string with an open close parenthesis, you can provide the way you want to look like DD hyphen mm hyphen yyy. Okay, mm is a capital and there are different uh, string date time string formats you can utilize. So currently we are going to see like this. I want to give a date first after that month and after that year. Okay. So, and also this is a message box for current month end date. Even if I want to show you message box for current month start date. So just take one more message box. Current month start date dot to string. And same like DD, DDMM format. Okay, so DD, let's give a date, hyphen, MM, small y, 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 four y's, which means the year. So let's run this process, run file. So now it is executed and it is giving, this is a current month start date. Okay, so one eight, and this is a current month end date. So this is what is expected, right? Hope everyone understood this. So if you want to concatenate, Let's concatenate with this proper value within a double quotes and giving current month start date. Okay, so it will be more clear. This is current month. Let's run to see in a clear way. You can see current month start date is 2023. This is what we have given in a two string format, right? So, like day, dd, and mm, which is giving a 0 i, and year, which four y's. And the next one, current month end date. 31.08.2023 yeah that's it so hope you guys understood so if you have any questions please do comment and thanks for joining me till here happy learning